Hi everybody, it's Amalia and I'm here today with the first uh, project for the Crafty Christmas Collab for 2020. We'll be posting once a week for the next four, four weeks our Crafty Christmas projects for 2020 and this is my very first project for the year. This is a banner and it says Mary. Uh, what I did was I used the 12 Days of Christmas uh, Paper Studio 12 by 12 pad and uh, I had some some of these chipboard books uh, they sell these at Michael's all they sell these at all different craft places but uh, they sell they sold the ones that I bought these particular ones from Colorbach at Michael's and I had all the different shapes I had the star I had the tree I had the ornament I had the snowman, and of course, I had the mitten. So I took out one of each to use for my particular banner. I used a Momenta die that I found at Tuesday morning. I had to take it out of its original packaging uh, because it was just too big. <laughs> and I wanted to uh, compact it down a little bit. But it's these huge dies. Uh, all capitals and these are wow these are maybe two and a half or three inches two and a half inch uh, at least in height these particular guys so I used those and I punched out or cut out rather some uh, black foam for underneath as well and so that it would sit up just a little bit and uh, I had some of this gold toned paper that I used and let me show you once again some of the other embellishments that I had that I decided to use. Uh, so I got these flowers that are all here and here uh, at Tuesday morning. And uh, I used up an entire package of those. Uh, I used some of these borders from Martha Stewart, adhesive borders right there and there. And these came out really handy with this particular uh, paper pad because they're the, um, they're basically the red truck with the Christmas tree. So I used that and uh, I, these are some from Martha Stewart as well. So that's my, <laughs> what else do I say? That's my project. Uh, it was a little challenging, uh, in at least in my own mind, um, because what I did was uh, I took the mitten, say for example, and I put it on the sheet of paper and I traced it, then I cut it out. Well, as you know, when you trace it and cut it out, it leaves uh, a border. So then I had to go around and cut the border and I was using just a pair of scissors to cut around the border, which was really not the way to do it. Um, I have this self-healing cutting mat right here that's really nice and dirty that uh, worked out much better. So I would suggest tracing and then gluing the paper on. You'll have a border that needs to be cut out, but use a, um, a craft knife like this to uh, cut around the border after, afterwards. It's a much easier cut, much finer cut on a self-healing mat like this. Uh, and that helped out a lot. I still felt that they were sort of unfinished and a little raw looking, so I went over um, all of the edges on the side with a black Sharpie marker, and then I still needed something else. <laughs> so I actually went on the inner edge and um, traced them out onto the actual design paper uh, just for a thicker edge. I could have gone ahead and uh, you know, used a dark ink to sort of um, age the paper a little bit uh, but I didn't wanna and so I didn't and then uh, the backs are not finished either so so it doesn't look you know it looks homemade let's put it that way uh, and if I wanted to finish them up a little bit I would like make them look a little bit, you know, more professionally produced. Uh, I think I would either put paper on the back 
or maybe just paint it with some uh, acrylic, acrylic paint to finish it off. Um, but I didn't, and I probably won't, because <laughs> this is going to stay home with me and uh, decorate uh, for the holidays. And um, it was a pretty quick project to do. I mean, the paper is so cute and so well designed. You really don't need to do much uh, with it, except just, you know, cut your paper out and stick it down and then add a couple of embellishments and, and there you go. With this particular um, scarf that I gave Frosty the Snowman here, I used actually two different ribbons. I used this uh, ribbon right here from American Crafts, which is a candy cane ribbon. And then this is uh, from Michaels. They sold it a couple of years ago at Michaels and it had this pom-pom uh, on the edge. So I just used some fabric glue to glue it to the edge of um, the ribbon like that. And uh, I got a pom-pom candy cane scarf for him. So that's my project, folks. This is a collab that is running every week on Wednesdays at 8 a.m. Eastern for the next four weeks. Please take a look in the description bar below and you'll see all the other fabulous collabers that are producing projects for this wonderful collab. Thanks so much for stopping by. If this is your first time at my channel, thanks so much. Please check out some of my other videos. I'll link some at the end of this video. And uh, please click the subscribe button and the bell to get notified when I post my next video. And thanks for stopping by, everybody. Bye.